What is going on guys, welcome back to another episode of Rugby Challenge 4 and today I'm going to be talking about my wish list for the whole thing. Basically, if you've been following all the episodes throughout this week, I'm going to be basically narrowing it all down into one. If you haven't watched previous episodes, then I'm just going to basically put them all into today's video. So yeah, stay tuned, there's a lot to talk about. Welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel. Please make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button, as well as please go ahead and follow us on our social media platforms to be up to date with the channel. Okay, so previously this week, the first thing I wanted to mention was the whole menu system for Rugby Challenge in general. So with the previous titles of Rugby Challenge being Rugby Challenge 1, 2 and 3, they've always been kind of very, very, very basic sort of menu layout. So I decided to make my own artwork, which is this, uh, of the menu layout, which, which it should really look like. Uh, obviously, the final version of Rugby Challenge 4 could look literally, well, it probably won't look anything like this, but I, this is just how I feel uh, the game should look like and what should be in it. Uh, so yeah, this is the menu layout which I did. So basically Rugby Challenge has always relied heavily on its graphics showing it in the menu rather than showing just basic pictures. Uh, so I went ahead and put all the sort of previous graphics that you saw in the previous games into it. Uh, obviously this might not be the final graphics, but yeah, this is what I thought the menu system should look like. Uh, so up next is a mode that all of you guys are talking about all the time and that's uh, Ultimate Team. Uh, so this is what a potential Ultimate Team could look like in Rugby Challenge 4 if you used all the international players. And uh, to be honest, it's quite impressive. Uh, so a lot of you want to be able to do an Ultimate Team mode which is online. Yes, okay, career mode is very similar to an Ultimate Team mode because you can basically sign your own players and put them into your team. But it's not Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team would be able to use that same team, like the players that you have signed, and play with them online and compete against other people's Ultimate Teams. Uh, so it would be pretty amazing to be able to do that. And obviously you'd have to sign players. You'd have to get certain contracts all the time. Uh, otherwise you'll end up losing your players and stuff like that. And uh, to be honest, it would be really, really fun. Uh, I've never really been a fan of Ultimate Team like that. I mean, FIFA has always based itself on Ultimate Team alone. It doesn't really update much anymore with certain other modes. Uh, and I don't really like that. Um, okay, yeah, Ultimate Team is very, very popular, and I'm all for it, but I've never really been a fan of it myself. But to be honest, it would be quite cool to have a rugby version of it, and uh, to be able to have that in Rugby Challenge 4 would be quite a cool feature. But uh, again, it is quite unlikely. So up next then was another feature we spoke about, which was uh, going back into career mode, and uh, that was being able to have a sort of different layout. Uh, here's some artwork that I made, which is going by the old FIFA games. Which is the sort of like uh, when you're signing a player, as you can see, you're currently representing Crusaders. And uh, then you go to sign your player. This is the contract that you would see. Uh, and then obviously the money, you'd have to change the amount of money, how much you're going to pay for the player and so on. And then you submit then a offer to them. Uh, personally, I think it would be quite cool. It would make it a lot more fun, especially for younger viewers. You generally feel like you're managing the team of your dreams. And uh, that was the idea of it because the previous titles of Rugby Challenge, like Rugby Challenge 1, Rugby Challenge 1 2, and 3, uh, they've always been very, very basic layouts in the career mode of just show a simple table and that's about it. So I think by doing this, it would make it pretty cool and it would spice things up a bit. Okay, and the final topic we spoke about in this week then was having the license of SLAR, which is the newly formed South American League. With Rugby Challenge probably most likely having the license for the national team of Argentina, uh, just because nobody else has managed to scoop that up yet, and it's not really a license that you would that you would feel that Rugby 20 would have missed out on unless certain circumstances. And I have a feeling it probably will be featured in Rugby Challenge 4. So therefore, if Rugby Challenge 4 have the license for Argentina and they have the license for Jaguars, uh, let's ignore Jaguars though at the moment. Uh, SL SLAR is the South American League and Argentina currently have a representative team that will be competing in that next year when it first starts. Uh, so either to have the license for SLAR in general or just to have a license for one of its teams, I feel like it would be an opportunity they'd really miss out on if they didn't do it. Uh, and obviously with it newly being formed as well, surely they'd be wanting to be in a video game. So it might not be too much to pay for. Anyway, that's just my opinion, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope you did enjoy Rugby Challenge for a week if you have watched it up till, this, up till now. Uh, it's been really fun to do, and I felt like with the videos I did, I put across some cool ideas if the developers are watching. Probably aren't because they'd stay away from social media because uh, they haven't really been putting anything up on social media themselves either. So probably literally the chances of a developer seeing this video are very, very slim. Uh, but it would be some pretty cool ideas, I thought, to put into the game if they did. 
Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Have I missed out on any features that you would want to see in the game? And let me know your support in the comment section. These as well, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button to show your support for these videos. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload Rugby Challenge 4 videos all the time, as well as Rugby 20, as well as other rugby stuff. So stay tuned for all that stuff. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I've been Andrew. I will see you in another upload. Peace out, guys.